Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Oh, dear. I can already tell right now that this might be a problem. Mm. I bought a new mat, thinking it would help the uh, color situation. I may have been wrong. Okay, thank God. <coughs> the other side is... A more tealy color. We will see how that works. If that makes it any better. Oh no, that made it worse. Shit. Oh, whatever. That's about it. That's about how it looks to my eye. <coughs> All right. Well, I got a new mat. Isn't that exciting? All right. I have a herald flying around, so don't notice him if you do. God, herald, go away. I'm busy. I'm gonna share this with my friends. I encourage you to share this with your friends on social media. <clears throat> For those of you who do not know how to share this with your friends, I will do an example right now. <laughs> Hello, Scarlet. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? Are you? Okay, so if you don't know <clears throat> how to share this with your friends, you're on this site right now, right? Okay. Then you go to share right here. And you hold down your control and then you click on each of these things and then you go up to the top and you can share or save or post if you have a tumblr or a, a LinkedIn or a whatever okie dokie Cool? All right. So, I don't know how well this is going to go over because of the color's a little funky. But I did get a new mat today, and it's dual-sided, so it seems to be more cooperative with this side currently. So we're going to see how this goes. All right, today... Oh, and welcome to the 1st of June... And I need to do a thing before I forget to do a thing. So I have misplaced my... I did a page listing all of the inks that I was going to do this month. And I done lost the damn thing. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. I just, I have no idea what I did with it. I'm, I was like, I'm going to put this in a safe place. And then it was too safe, I can't even find it. So, <clears throat> today's ink is Diamine Matador. Oops. I'm using, and this is the Pensive Pens Serendipity with the Ovo Broad Nib. And this is the pen that I will be using today. So I should tell you first off that um, 
this is not actually a very good sample because it was completely dried out but there was a meniscus line oh the meniscus line is still there you can kind of see it the meniscus line was right there so I filled with water up to that point and um, <clears throat> I've been using it since so it was like completely dried out I have no idea how a, an ink would dry out like that but that's just what happened so that's what we're working with today <clears throat> now I'm not gonna lose this one this is this is going in my bojo okay and happy gay pride month to those who are celebrating gay pride this month it's gonna be a rainbow tastic month okay here is our comparison panel I'm trying to make it look like how it is to my eye okay this is our comparison panel it's a nice red very nice deep red here is our ink swatch and water resistance test shows that I might not want to put this on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash off. Here is our <clears throat> ink splotch. And I wrote Matador on the bottom with my little tiny brush. You can barely see the brush, it's so tiny. And here is our toilet paper chromatography. And I don't know if you could. GDSLB. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a red. It's clearly red. And then there's like an orange on the outside. And then there's like little bloops of yellow. Or like little bloops of like really light orange. Anyway. Let's look at some paper review. This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Barely any feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Now, I didn't think it was fair to do the swipes, so I didn't do any of the swipes for the rest of them. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Super, no, this is, <clears throat> where is it? This is lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. 52, no, yes, 52 GSM to my river paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Moleskin 70 GSM. It does look like it feathered into the page and it did bleed through. I would not use the back side or front side of this paper. I would not use Moleskin unless you're using pencil. Then maybe, maybe if you're using pencil. Moleskin is not fountain pen friendly paper. This is a Yush 100 GSM paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. This is 80 GSM Rhodia dot pad. No feathering. Don't notice my fat finger swipe. No bleeding, no ghosting. 
This is the journal from the Dollar Tree. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. The Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. Feathered like a chicken. Bled through the page. I'd not use the back side of this paper. I wouldn't use the front side of this paper. 80 GSM Nemesine. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. This is Oxford Optic Paper 90 GSM. <clears throat> no feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Exceed 100 GSM. Heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Unison composition book from Target for 50 cents. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. So far, this is a pretty cooperative ink. True Red Composition Book from Staples.com No feathering, barely any ghosting. Uh, Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oh, <sighs> This is the Nanami Seven Seas 68 GSM Tomoy River paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. U Style notebook paper. No feathering, barely any ghosting. This is transfer, so I'm going to have to. Get another page out. CVS Caliber Notebook Paper from CVS Pharmacy. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. This is Oxford Notebook pa Paper. This is Oxford One Subject Notebook Paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. This is pretty good stuff. Mead wide ruled notebook paper. No feathering. Barely any ghosting. I might not use the back side of this paper though. Alright, five star notebook paper. I see one little tiny feather, two little tiny feathers. And it did go through the page just a little bit. All right, this is HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. 
This is Acabe grid pattern paper, no feathering, barely any ghosting. This is JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNeilBooks.com. Hi, Carlos. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? This no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is the original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. No feathering, barely any ghosting. Okay, let's do a comparison panel. This is definitely a red ink. Alright. Okay, now I have to fix this again. Okay. This is Noodlers, Rattlers, Red Eel. If I didn't know better, I would think that these were twins. This is Tasha Aka Red. I'm just going to have to take its word. All right, this is <clears throat> Stipula Florentine Red, Monteverde Love Red, Diamine Red Robin, Ferris Wheel Press Algonquin Maple, Monteverde Valentine Red, Sailor Irori, Krishna Primary Red, Waterman Audacious Red, Diamine Vermilion, Monteverde Strawberry Shortcake, Hero Red Number 201, Diamond Firestorm, Twisby Crimson, Parker Quink Red, Uli Red, Colorverse Alpha Scorpy, Colorverse Felicity Glistening, KWZ Sparkling Cranberry, Ackerman Charlac and Von Janstein, Pilot Mixable Red, Diatramentus Document Red, KWZ's Thief's Red, KWZ Red Number One, Malta Verde Cherry Danish, Malta Verde Passion Burgundy, Diatramentus Document Dark Red, Diatramentus Oriental Red, KWZ Red Candy, Pure Pence Cudwallader, Sailor Manyo Umi, Robert Oster Aster Kiza Rot, Noodlers Black Swan and English Roses, Colorverse Dark Energy, Colorverse Hubble Zoom, Diamine Oxblood, Multiverde Blueberry Muffin, Diamine Robert, Diamine Deep Dark Red, Diamine Raspberry Rose, Stipula Dark Red, Sailor Gentle Grenade, Diamine Coral, Diamine Flamingo Pink, Ferris Wheel Press Royal Rhubarb, Caveco Ruby Red, and Bakersfield Food Color Red. Well, what did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a nice darkish red? 
This is a nice flowy red. It flows nice when it's not being dried out. I, I sometimes forget to cap my little serendipity so it dries out. But <clears throat> so I would be careful of that. Um, other than that, I haven't had any problems with it so far. So, that is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all. So when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. I don't know where this is made. Made in Mexico. Alrighty. Have a great day. Oh, good love you. Bye.